Hi guys, welcome to my digital art channel. Today in this video, I will teach you the basics of digital drawing on the phone or a tablet using your fingers. Let us start with installing the app from the Play Store for Android users. Here we go. Let's go to the Play Store. Type Ibis Paint X and click install. Let me tell you that this app is free to use and it is available for iOS users as well. I have switched over to my tablet device where I have the application already installed on it. Let's click on the icon and get started. Here you can see three options, My Gallery, Collection and Online Gallery. Today we will explore the My Gallery option. Here you can see all the digital illustrations that I have done till now. You can easily scroll up and down to view your illustrations. Now, what if you want to create a new illustration or a digital drawing? All you have to do is click on the plus icon that is here to start with your new illustration. Next, before starting a new digital illustration, you have to choose the canvas size. So here you have all the options for the canvas size of your illustration, whether you want a horizontal illustration or a vertical illustration. I will choose an HD size for my tutorial illustration. Now this is the canvas and these are all the options that you require for your drawing. Let us explore all the options one by one. Before drawing, all you need is an outline of the drawing. So you can use a brush or a pencil for your drawing outline. Let us explore the brush option. Click on the brush icon here. Here you can see all the different types of brushes with their varying thickness and texture. You can choose any one as per your requirement. Let us choose this ballpoint pen brush and scribble on the canvas to check its texture and thickness. Let us just erase this uh, scribble and test the other brushes as well. You can use the eraser option here to erase whatever you have drawn. Here you can increase the size of the eraser. So I'll just erase what we had scribbled on the canvas and test the other brushes one by one. So back we go to the brush option and choose another type of brush that you want to test. We can use this airbrush particle brush and see the texture. Here you can see that the texture is different from the ballpoint brush we used before. Let us test another brush as well. We will check uh, the mechanical pencil brush here you can see that the texture is again different from the previous brushes that we used so these are all the different types of brushes that you can use according to your requirement there are varying size of brushes you can use this charcoal brush you can use this crayon mod brush there are different types of trail brushes as well like the glitter brush the sequin pen heart brush you can use the sequin pen heart brush to check the trail of hearts that you can get you can increase the size and thickness of the brush from here increase decrease so let's increase and try you can see the hearts that you can see here so these are basically the different types of brushes that you can use for drawing your digital art it's all up to you which brush you require as per your need let us first erase all the scribble that is present on the canvas and proceed with our further options. Use the eraser option and uh, erase all the scribble that is present on the canvas. Next I would like to show you the color palette from which you can pick any color that you want to use in your drawing. So we have this square icon to the right of the brush icon. Click on the square icon and you can see the color palette that is available for your use. These are the colors which I have used for my illustrations by picking from the color spectrum which is available to the right of your palette. So basically you can choose any colors 
from this spectrum palette and the color you choose is available here and if you want to save this color to your palette just drag the color and save it to your palette so that you can use it for your further illustrations so this is the color palette and you can choose any color with the varying shades lighter shades or the darker shades and the blacks and the whites whatever is your requirement for the drawing so guys till now we have covered the brush option the eraser option and the color palette also i have shown you how to undo and redo the changes you can use this back and front arrows to redo and undo your changes this down button will only minimize the toolbar or maybe the options bar so that you can see your canvas in a clear way just click on the down arrow and you can see only your canvas you can zoom in and zoom out and if you if you click on the up arrow all the options will again appear on the screen with the canvas okay so now uh, also i would like to show you that you can vary the intensity or opacity of a brush color using this option so let us draw a line using a simple brush and I want the intensity or the opacity to be 50% near to 50% so what I'll do is choose a simple color this is a maybe a greenish blue color and I've chosen the opacity as 50% so what will happen the intensity will be lighter than the color you have chosen now if I change the intensity to maybe 100% you can see a difference in the shade so in this way using this option here you can vary the opacity of the brush so yeah this is all about the beginners or the basic options that you required for doing or doodling on the canvas using the software there are a plenty lot of other options which i will be discussing in the further videos in the upcoming videos and i hope you enjoyed this video so based on the options that i showed you today let us just draw a quick or uh, make a simple digital illustration so that you will revise all the options and you can sit and draw your choice of art at home let us clear the canvas So now we will draw a simple flower using all the options that we have studied till now. Let us use the brush option to draw the center of the flower. I would like to draw it in orange color. I will use the circle option and draw a simple circle here. I will deselect the circle option and manually fill the center part with the orange color. Now I would like to draw the petals of the flower with a dark blue color. Here we go. Now I would like to erase or remove the blue portion that is inside the orange portion i will choose again the orange color and just remove the blue part And I would like to have a green stem. So here you can see this is a basic drawing with the brushes option, the eraser option and using the color palette and the inbuilt shape options. Further we will explore a lot more about the different shading options, the text options, the canvas setting options in the upcoming videos thank you subscribe to my channel and like comment and share if you really enjoyed and learned about the digital art on abyss paint text thank you